Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have Sugi's 28 Reasons music video. Looking forward to this. I pre-ordered all versions of the album. At least I think I did. There was three different types of the album. I think I got them all. Looking forward to it. I had to make sure I got my girl's albums pre-order. Like I was like, I'm on it. Don't worry, so I'm here to support my queen. So let's hop into the video. Oh, this looks beautiful. Also, I didn't watch like the teasers. So look at our creative queen. God, she's so pretty. I have her poster over here. Sadly, when I pre-ordered all the poster- Oh. Oh. Oh, scandalous. I don't have a brother. But I'm an only child, so... What does that mean for me? Um, sadly, the posters were sold out, so I'm very upset. I didn't know you can sell out pre-order posters, but whatever. He's still my heart. Yep. The fits. Oh, what a queen. Oh, I love you. Oh, this is, um, what era was it where she had like red streaks? Really bad boy? Let me look at my really bad boy poster. No. She's wearing- No! I can't see. <laughs> no. What era is that? Who da who? Is that just bad boy era? She- I, I drew her. I drew a picture of her and she had like like some cargo black pants and like a did i imagine this era or maybe it's just red hair or maybe there weren't streaks oh my god what era is this i think it was this era what era is this someone let me know maybe it was psycho era Cause I freak up time. Ah, whatever. This is a fit. Let's rewind, cause girl, we gotta feel that again. Oh, this is like old school vibes a bit. Like, uh, would I go to Spice Girls? Not really. I don't know what era would be, but. Okay. Y'all see her knees? They buckled. Me when I see her. <laughs> oh. I love that there's like, there's like three different vibes going on. Oh. Oh, she's seducing herself. That smile. So insidious. Oh, the delivery. That growl. I'm making it I love that delivery. Now we have a different vibe again. There's something unsettling about the way she delivers this part, and I like it. It's it's not what you expect it sound like. Right here. Like it, it's a little off. Yeah. Like she breaks in parts you don't think she's going to. Oh. Oh. 
So all the chains and the the cuts on her and stuff make me think it's like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a commentary on something. I don't know if I'm projecting a commentary onto it. I don't know if it's supposed to be up to our interpretation. Because to me, it feels like she's trying to break out of an abusive relationship. But the abusive relationship doesn't have to be romantic necessarily. Just like, you know, some type of abusive world you're trapped in. And it's her, like, she was walking away earlier with her hands still kind of tied, I think. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. And then some of the dance moves and stuff. I don't know, it feels almost like that. But I'm probably, that's not what the lyrics imply. So now I'm a little lost. The more you break, the more you'll want me. See, like, it feels like almost the other person is actually heartbroken here. So, and 28 Reasons, like, okay, now, okay. Wow. That's so beautiful. I want a poster of that. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Now she's burning that bed that she like. Oh. oh. And like she's walking away from it. Like, okay, okay, let's go. So it feels like she's burning something of her past. Hmm. Maybe Do you just love the pain? Run away. Oh my god. Maybe I'm right. Maybe it was about an abusive relationship. Oh, okay, I think I'm... Okay, let me look at the beginning of these lyrics again, because I got really intrigued towards the end. Earlier, I was, like, loving the voice, and then I was looking at the lyrics in the video more, and I was like, ooh. Oh, yeah, and then we had this. I forgot. Green and... Oh, my God, it's all coming together again. He's your brother, still your heart. Oh, is this a story? Is that why? Hmm. See, for a second, I thought she was the bad, bad person. Like, not really, but like, um, I thought it was gonna be like one of those songs where the person singing it's actually in the wrong. I like songs like that. It's so interesting. And then they feel guilt for like maybe cheating. Like, um, like sometimes there's songs where the main singer is the one who cheated. And it's like the song about regret and stuff. But I, I don't think it- But then it tricked me towards the end, so I was like, maybe not. It's so much fun to see you like that. So it feels like she's the one who did wrong. Maybe! And then I'm breaking every- That's why I was like, oh, maybe she's the one. So maybe... That ending is actually saying while he wasn't great to her, she also wasn't great to him. Like, maybe he acted this way because she kissed his brother. <laughs> maybe that's like not really- the maybe that was just more like a phrasing but hmm and it says 20 isn't that real and you and then at the end it goes 28 reasons to run away okay so my assumption here is maybe she cheated on him and he started being maybe he starts being abusive towards her or mean to her how are you gonna phrase it or maybe he was already abusive towards her and then she cheated because you know sometimes you do that um because you, you're scared to run away but you don't want to be with this person and maybe you love someone else but you can't leave them because they might hurt you like that type of thing i don't know i think that's what's beautiful about this song is like that ending with the little phrases at the end shows that um 
there could be multiple ways of interpreting it. I don't know. But it's beautiful like that. Let me know if there's an actual story to this or if it's, it is up to interpretation. My story is that she's always been kind of teasing and playing him. Um, and because of that, he starts being bad to her. She cheats and eventually she runs away because she gathered enough in her to finally leave. Or maybe she never cheated. Maybe she's a bit of a tease and he's bad to her once they get together because of that. I don't know. Because a lot of times the person, like a lot of times in movies and stuff portray the person in an abusive relationship as being very fragile and soft and insecure and stuff. And that does happen, but there's also a lot of cases where the woman's actually very confident, reassuring, even like businesswoman, like the the ideal girlfriend. Um, but because of that, the guy is very insecure and that's why they're abusive. That's actually a lot of the cases. So I can see that being the case here where she was a bit more confident and stuff. And then once she got with him, he broke it down. Maybe it's not even about that. Maybe I'm just adding a story here. But I think that's the beauty of this song and this video is it seems like she was a confident girl and very and then once he started being mean to her she got attached to him and hovering like your shadow and whispering to you like i'm your light and your darkness like that's i don't know what do you think i don't know i don't really i'm bad at interpreting videos but that's what it felt like and then once in that gray area she starts feeling very sad and stuff and then eventually she breaks out Regardless, it was beautiful, no matter what the story is, and I'm excited for this album. Ooh, so excited to check it out. Um, I'll see you guys in that video. Bye!